Let's learn to set up a chart so it can have a one tap marker, voice control, magic markers, reminders, and more. To begin, in your project, tap Setup. Tap the plus on the right side and select Chart Piece. Pick the page your chart is on. I will pick page six. Now, we need to tell Knit Companion where to look on the page for our chart by cropping. To do this, drag your finger diagonally across the area of the page that contains the chart. When cropping for a chart, make sure all the chart edges are inside the crop. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure your entire chart is included inside. Now tap the wand. Knit Companion has used artificial intelligence to find the edges of the chart and count the rows and stitches. It is pretty smart, but it is still really important for you to verify the results. First, we need to specify the first row of the chart. For me, this is one. My chart counts one, two, three, so I will leave count by at one. If your chart counts one, three, five, set count by to two. Next, take a look and make sure the system correctly found the edges of the chart and that the grid overlay matches the actual chart. Ours is perfect, but you can always manually adjust if needed. Let's do this again. I'll tap the blue plus and pick chart piece. This time, I'll select page eight. I need to rotate this page. Now I'll drag to tell Casey which chart I want. So for now, I'll pick the top chart. Notice I'm not keeping these extra lines around the chart. This will help it find the true edges of the chart. Tap the wand. This chart also counts one, two, three, and I can zoom in and see that my grid is perfectly aligned. When you're ready to start knitting, tap knit. You can see the one tap marker on the right. When I tap it, it automatically moves my marker to the next row and voice controls are available if I want to turn them on. If I long tap on the one tap marker, I can see more information about my progress. I can also go back a row or reset back to the beginning of the chart. Happy knitting.